so this is the explanation for um, okay I'm sorry uh, we have to go back to the previous slide yeah so this is the explanation for uh, uh, the comparison between the between phenol and ethanol so phenol is more acidic than ethanol because the OH group in phenol is attached to a benzene ring the lone pair on the oxygen atom is de delocalized into the benzene ring making the phenoxide ion more stable thus it is less likely to bond with H plus ions and you can also write that the lone pair is less available to bond with H plus ions and then the second explanation is that ethanol uh, in ethanol a large electron donating group CH3CH2 is attached to the OH atom uh, OH group this should not be OH atom it should be OH group so OH group So this should be OH group and then the positive inductive effect caused by the alkyl group increases the negative charge density on the ethoxide ion making it less stable and hence more likely to bond with H plus ions. So these are the explanations. I want you to note all of these explanations down because it will really help you in your exam. If you write the answers as they are over here then you will get full marks. So I'll move to the next slide now. Uh, you can pause the video and note all of these down. So oxidation of methanoic acid and ethane dioic acid. So uh, first of all, we, we saw that in our AS levels, we saw that alcohols, for example, ethanol, CH3, CH2, OH, it, can, it first oxidizes through partial oxidation to ethanol. Uh, just a second, let me make this entire molecule properly. So, ethanol, which is CH3, CH2, OH. Is ethanol CH3CH2OH it first oxidizes partially to ethanol which is an aldehyde so CH3 CHO this is it, it, it oxidizes to CH3CHO which is ethanol an aldehyde and this then further oxidizes to ethanoic acid but we stopped the chain over there So this is how oxidation takes place but however we never oxidize the acid because ethanoic acid cannot be oxidized but we can oxidize two acids which are methanoic acid and ethane dioic acid. So I will be doing these two and you will see how the conditions for their oxidations vary. Now. Let me um, let me erase this. Okay, so oxidation of methanoic acid. So we know that the symbol for oxidation is O in square brackets. So uh, ethanoic acid upon oxidation forms CO2 and H2O. So we know this for all organic compounds. You oxidize an alkane, you get CO2 and H2O. You oxidize an alkene, you get... Uh, okay, so al alkene is a little different, but you oxidize an alkane, you get this. You, ox you uh, combust anything in oxygen. For example, uh, you combust um, alcohol in, um, in oxygen, you get CO2 and H2O. So basically the combustion, not oxidation, but combustion of all organ com or of, some of most organic compounds leads to the formation of CO2 and H2O. Now, uh, now methanoic acid, it, is, it also oxidizes to CO2 and H2O and we need weak oxidizing agents like felling solution and Tollens reagent uh, for this reaction. So, you know that felling solution and Tollens reagent was used to detect carbonyl compounds. Uh, felling solution, it is initially blue in color but with an uh, but with an aldehyde, it gives an, a deep orange color. And 
uh, a deep red color i'm sorry phenyl solution gives a deep red color with an aldehyde and no reaction with an with a ketone 